Hello everybody, welcome to game 2 between Lane and Sky. Lane is going to be the Yellow Oak player spawning in 7 o'clock and melting uh, Secret Valley. And notice how the first burrow of Lane is going to be put right here next to the orange creeps. Um, he's going to burrow creep that um, camp. No, Sky is gonna get a tower before the before the third farm, so that's gonna be, and of course, no scouting by the way, no scout, no scouting peasants from from Sky. Therefore, it's a signature Sky push again. And if you are an orc player and you scouted this, if you see uh, like an arcing tower in his base and uh, with three farms, you need to start uh, your you need to think about one of the possible. Oh, nice! Lynn's gonna get that creep. You need to think one one of the possible um, strategies versus you, which is sky push. Um, like I said in game one, if you want if you wonder how to counter sky push, just let you know, Grubby has shown us uh, how to how to do it versus Sonki. Of course, Sonki is not a is not a uh, one of the best human, but he's a decent human. He's <laughs> the best human in the United States, which uh, which is like a best which is like a best. Uh, Football player in uh, Russia, really. <laughs> no, nobody knows. Nobody uh, really gives a crap. Uh, football, I mean, uh, like uh, pads and helmets and pads with uh, pigskin, and not, not, not soccer. Um, well, Russia is decent in soccer. Well, whatever. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that. Anyway, Sky is going to get tier two now. I think uh, Lens going to be ahead again. Oh, Lens behind on tier two. Oh my God, what is Lens spending lumber on? Hmm. I have no idea. Oh, okay. Len has one, uh, two more peasant, uh, lumber peasant in this game. I think he lost, he lost one and lost his scouting number peasant. Uh, nice creep track by Len, and uh, by the expense of the blade master being revealed. I'm gonna put it on Sky's point of view now, and uh, Eric with two x speed. And Footman's gonna get chased around and probably gonna run to the creep camp or the Fountainville Health, or neither. He's gonna get chopped down by the blade master now. Um, meanwhile, Sky is gonna just go solo creep this uh, green camp outside Lens base. Make sure Lens don't gotta get that tome. Let's see what tome this. Uh, this yeah. Oh, Sky is almost a level three. Now it's a level level two water until it's gonna try to cancel this burrow. I'm gonna slow it down here because this burrow is gonna get group repaired. This is many. This is as many key on you as you can fit around a burrow if you repair it. So let's see four, four, nine peons, nine peons of repairing this thing. Two two of them are inside. Um, and still, this burrow is damaged by the footman and uh, water. Three water elementals, two level two water elementals as well. And this uh, level one water elemental is going to get uh, is going to expire. But uh, here comes the blame master trying to rescue this, uh, trying to rescue his uh, one burrow. This burrow is draining lens resources. I'm going to pull on lens's perspective. Notice how the re lens resources is getting drained. Look at this gold. He he's forced to put some pe peon back on gold because he's draining way too much. Not a resource out of it, and uh, I think Sky is going to lose a couple water until that's not going to be a big deal. And uh, here comes Sky is going to get another water until back in lens, back into the uh, lens base. And now notice how Lens got in tier two, and now he has after getting tier two, Lens has 185 lumber left. And uh, this is <laughs> really uh, Lens just tr all, was thinking about training and getting a Torn Chieftain, but he just canceled and getting a Shadow Hunter. And um, Torn Chieftain, uh, I think, is using the Shockwave can can somewhat uh, push back the casters uh, human, of humans, but I don't think it's going to be that effective because the uh, level one Torn Chieftain really can get out to Shockwaves, and that's all. It's about a uh, hundred, hundred forty, hundred sixty damage total, um, eighty damage per uh, per Shockwave. Uh, I don't know. Okay. And the Sky is going to take down one Burrow that puts Lin back in uh, red. So Lin's gonna have to get another burrow here soon. Yeah, otherwise, he wouldn't be able to get any uh, units out, getting any tier two units out. Be sure he's gonna probably be canceled. And we're at the, during during all this time, Lin's are trying to harass with the blade master, but the sky is basically completely sealed, uh, airtight. Only uh, small units can get in and out. And this uh, level one <laughs> level one uh, mountain king is gonna try to do with the do do with the blade master with the help of some casters. And the shop and two uh, two militia. I'm putting on my guy's perspective. This guy's gonna do some healing back back and he cancel the beastery and Lynn just got in the burrow, I think. Um yeah, just got in the third burrow. So Lynn's really, really behind. And uh Lynn, I think Lynn's hurting up for number as well. 
uh, then has 113 number left. So um, normally, when orc after orc uh, for standard orc build after gaining tier two, you you have about 350 to 400 lumber. That's typical. Therefore, you can choose. You can choose between. Uh, you can get a hero, of course. Uh, you don't go for Tyrant Hero because uh, that's just uh, downright stupid. <laughs> um, you don't go for Tyrant Hero, you go for Shadow Hunter or Torn Chieftain. And uh, that's 100 lumber down the drain, so you have about 200 to 100, uh, 250 to 300 lumber left. You can choose between two things. You can choose a, you can choose, um, a, a Beast Jury or, and a uh, Spare Launch or, a, uh, or the Grounds Upgrade. Each of them costs about 150 lumber. So you can, so you're gonna use up 300 lumber to or two of these uh, three things, and Lin has a uh, uh, like I showed you, Lin has about 185 lumber after getting tier two. So Lin can only choose one thing, which is after getting hero, which is a uh, beastery, and that beastery was probably was uh, <laughs> canceled a couple of times, and that sets him back so much far ahead as far as lumber uh, production. Now this guy's gonna be super confident heading to this battle. There's nothing but grunts. Lin has nothing but grunts, and he's gonna try to try to get some demolisher out of here. But I don't think that's gonna work. Lin needs to really get towers back in his base to defend against this. But if you get towers as or because I'll just give the map control completely to human. You can just sir, you can just hand the map to to human on the silver pattern, and um, and uh, there, there's nothing there's nothing you can do about it. Humans gonna expand, and they're gonna get griffins, and you're just gonna be turtling your base, and um, that's not gonna be good. It looks like the first demolisher almost gets killed. Oh, it's gonna get killed by a by a priest, I think. <laughs> priest, yeah, priest attack. Uh, they throw they throw the blue birds and uh, and the sorcerers throw the yellow birds. And I think that <laughs> that demolisher was killed by blue birds. <laughs> those, those little birds that the priest throw. So yeah, Len's gonna lose all of his ground. So watch, it's kind of funny. Uh, this tower's gonna go up. Four towers is up, and all the towers. Uh, wait a second. This tower is not in range, but all three towers uh, are in range, and um, Len's gonna have to retreat back to the shop and do some uh, serious healing. But uh, he's gonna lose another ground, and Len's blade master is very low, and he so the blade master has to chug up some healing, you know, here a little bit. Uh, wait, I think no, shadow shadow hunter is one chug up some healing, and these demolishers needs to work on the towers. Now these guys are casters. What is the demolishers doing? Demolisher needs to. Do what they're supposed to design to do. Um, Lin managed to get the mountain king really low, but the expense of all the units, Lin's gonna have no units left except two heroes. And um, this water to these two water toads are gonna like well away on these demolishers. I don't think there's anything Lin, Lin can do about it. If Lin go after these water toads, he's gonna be yeah. <laughs> never mind. If Lin, if Lin was going to, about to go after these water toads, he's probably going to be. Uh, ignoring this uh, tower being put up in his base, so so uh, the sky is gonna have a free ring on that. If the sky, if Lane decides to go after these towers and peasants, the the, the water I'm told is going to kill these with demolishers. So um, hope you guys enjoy the game, and I see you guys in. Uh, I hope you guys, I hope I show you guys how sky push works, and uh, see you guys in another replays.